subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Beth, we're in Tomball, Texas for a fun day of thrifting. First stop is a charity resale. I can't wait to see what we discover together today. Join me. Our first stop is Team Resale. That's Tomball Emergency Assistance Ministries. It's a great shop I've featured before in the channel and they are actively helping area residents with the necessary items like a food bank, rental assistance, and also help with utilities. And they are actually in right in front of the door right now helping area folks. Let's come on in and take a look. Team also has a food pantry so that your purchases benefit the community in many ways. As I approach the front door, I'm always window shopping. They have some glass and crystal featured there, along with some clothing accessories in the store, but we are going to focus mostly on tabletop and seasonal today. And I'm always looking for vintage china. And this is a brand I've not heard of before. It's made in Japan, Style House Fine China, probably from the 60s with that beautiful gold rim that is classic. And this Mikasa pattern is called Gold Coin. You'll notice the additional embellishment under the gold rim that is not featured in one of the other teacups here because that's a different pattern with that fluted design. It is the wedding band from Mikasa. I have this pattern that I acquired at an estate sale. And it's always good to add a pop of color to your table and pink is an often overlooked hue. It does work well with green, blue, and even a fun Christmas with lots of color at $15 a glass. I think I would wait for half price day. And these elegant glasses with the beautiful orchid etching, I'm not sure which manufacturer. It could be Tiffin, Cambridge, Heise, or Fastoria. A glass like this would sell for about $40 at replacements, and these are $15 each. The Evesham Gold from Royal Worcester, I find in many high-end charity resales. And I love that they price these individually. This souffle is $15 with that beautiful back stamp, of course, made in England. And that would be great for a winter dessert, chocolate souffle. I'm always looking for nativity sets and Mother Mary and Murano glass would be a great purchase. At $50, I would take that for the entire set. Otherwise, I will wait for half price day. It's always good to be back at Team Resale and I'm barely in the door and I've already found something from Murano, Italy. Isn't that amazing? And of course you're shopping with a purpose here at Team. And I found some wonderful things here over the years. Let's take a look at the shop. The classic white is always a great idea to add to your tabletop collection. And it's also a wonderful gift because you know it will match with just about anything. And I like the variety here. We have a bowl starting at $12 and even punch cups, which are great for serving on a luncheon plate with a chilled soup, fruit salad, chicken salad. And I love that harvest pattern. And they even have this vase, which is well-priced at $12. Fill that with red roses, perfect for Christmas or Valentine's. And they do have some great milk glass pieces. I wanted to point out there is a difference in quality. You'll notice that this harvest pattern is solid white, which is considered dead white in the milk glass world, whereas this lovely piece here is a little more opaque or translucent. Can you see that inside? And that's the difference in milk glass. It was highly collectible even in the Victorian era. A chinoiserie display for every day. I see some decorative elements and tableware. It's always a good idea to add just a touch of that to your decor for some interest. And this is a pattern I have not seen before and it looks like a dollar sign on that back stamp. You're probably thinking the sugar bowl is missing the lid, but it's actually placed on top of the creamer. And they do have some matching teacups and saucers. Quite an interesting look. And you could certainly pair that with white dishes to stretch your pattern. Every other place setting could feature a white cup and that matching plate and then reverse it. 
And this doesn't have a back stamp. It looks to be an inexpensive item. And there are just so many here from different eras, but the newest one actually would surprise you. This is from Home Interiors. You'll notice on the bottom it says Home Co. and it's $17, made in Taiwan. And actually the lid that was on the creamer might go on this teapot. I should have tried it. I'm thinking that would fit. And of course you don't need a lid for the sugar bowl. That is optional. This is a Russian hand-painted box. We had these in Germany in the 1980s. Those were very popular in gift stores for tourists. And I think that's well priced at $10. It's always good to be back at team and I'm barely in the door and have found chinoiserie. And I think that's the symbol of happiness. And this is definitely a happy store. I found some amazing things here over the years that grace my table and also lots of holiday decor. Let's take a look together. The crystal is calling. See how it sparkles in that natural sunlight. I wanted to remind you to always look down when you're thrifting you might find the perfect pair of lamps. Let's take a look at this crystal vase. It has many of the elements that you will find in Waterford Crystal. However, it is Miller Rogoska, the Gallia pattern. You'll see the traditional 16 cuts on the base, but it's actually inspired by Waterford, even though it carries a different label. Mr. Miller was the North American distributor for Waterford Crystal for years. He started his own company, and this vase is made in the former Yugoslavia. The holiday pattern from Linux is one that graces my table. At $15, this is definitely going home with me. And even if you don't have that pattern, it's something you certainly add to your table. And this bud vase is a great deal too. It's got the original sticker, fluted bud vase, 24 karat gold. This rose bowl is definitely European with a notched rim and the Hobstar design. I would wait for half price day at $22. It's a fair price, but I think I would wait. This is a Waterford Crystal frame. It's missing the metal part on top. The glue did not hold well back then. This is from the 70s or early 80s, and perhaps you could do something interesting with that. Sugar and creamer, also with a Hobstar design. And amber glass. That would be perfect for the fall season. Royal Dalton Vintage Design. I have seen this in the store before, and I bet that will sell if they have a special sale. It's got lots of detail, including navy blue. And some blue willow. They tend to keep all their blue and white items here in this case, which makes for fun shopping. $14 for that sugar bowl. The covered sugar does not have a back stamp, which is not unusual for some pieces and the Demitas cup. And it's always nice when we find a surprise at a charity resale, something I've never seen before. I think we're gonna have to take a closer look. Let's take off the lid. At $25, that certainly would be an interesting talking point on your tea table. Of course, I have to take a closer look at this teapot that has a double spout. And opening up the lid, I see there are two different vessels inside. So I guess you could have a fruit tea, a black tea, and change it up a bit on your table. The back stamp is not fabulous, but it is an interesting piece. The charity resale is also a good idea for holiday shopping if you're looking for Christmas gifts or even birthday gifts. And you might want to follow your local store on social media because then you will get updates on their sales. And Half Price Day is always amazing here at Team. And I like how they group the vintage and vanity items together. We've got perfume bottles, razors, and even a bell. This is a Waterford Crystal piece in the Glandor pattern, $15 for this perfume bottle. And I will remind you to always take off the stopper because it's often broken. Even in my Waterford days, these were on the display in stores and usually broken. This is an older piece for $10. It's a lovely perfume bottle with that fluted finial. And this is an eye wash cup. You probably have seen these before and didn't quite know what they were. Good price at $5. Interesting to keep in your guest bathroom. A Belique sugar bowl at $11. I think that's a really good price. You could fill it with candy. You certainly don't have to have the matching creamer. You can put a candle in it. This sandwich server is elegant glass, probably from the 50s. I love that pink 
And it, again, we talked about pink earlier, it goes with so many different colors and it brightens up your table. I have several of these, so I'm not in the market for it, but I'm so tempted. It's a very good price too, $15. And this glass rooster, I used to have this in red. I got it at Williams Sonoma years ago and it just wasn't fitting in my kitchen anymore. So I donated it at $25. That's about what the retail was back in the nineties. And this is the sale table, some odds and ends and Corel, which you probably have seen this pattern before. And you never know what you'll find here. And I do like the half price, especially if you're setting up a new household or college apartment, some made in Japan, China, and you could even add this gravy boat to any China pattern. It doesn't have to always match. And here's a pressed glass compote, EAPG. My favorite section of the store is behind me in this room up the ramp. Lots of dishes and seasonal items, many things that grace my table. Let's come on in and take a look. Now we're in the regular section of the store. We're outside of the boutique where we had just looked at glass and crystal and everything is half price today. This oversized casual pattern would be great for a simple supper. And let's look at that back stamp. España lifestyle in the Fiorenza pattern made in China. I like that detail. You could even put one of the plates on display and add some color to your living space. It would be $6 a plate. Mikasa gold coin. It's actually the wedding band. $75 today. I'm very tempted. I did find this pattern at an estate sale and it's classic. It goes with anything. You may want to take a look at that previous segment and see that and so many more items I found. This volunteer is here every Tuesday to help with the China and a lot of their tabletop area of this section of the store. And they have lots of regular customers that are always coming in looking for certain styles and patterns. Make sure you come often because you never know when you'll find something in your pattern. My Villarenbach French garden over the moon, excited to have some of these oversized cups and at half price, they're $1 each. And let's look at that beautiful Villarenbach back stamp. The headquarters is 25 minutes from our home in Germany. There's a large selection of dishware here at Team Resale. And I find that department stores have a very limited selection and I'm better off going to a thrift store. Of course, the price is right too. And look what I have found, my Villarenbach French garden pattern, oversized tea or coffee cups. I think it's originally made for French coffee and these are $1 each today. I'm taking all four. And with the holidays approaching, you certainly wanna check your local thrift store because you might need some more dinner plates. This shop has a great selection of colorful and casual serveware. I can see this filled with potato chips on a simple supper table. Pair it with fiesta ware or white dishes and you got a great look. That Santa teapot is quite the find. And this red pitcher is perfect for all seasons, along with the white milk glass plates. 50 cents each, tie a ribbon around the whole stack and you've got a great gift. This Ray Dunn line I see in every thrift store and it's actually a brand new retail item. I'm not sure if people get it as a gift and just don't like it, but don't pay retail for that. Go to your local thrift store. Lots of canisters and a Thanksgiving hostess gift, the salt and pepper shakers would be $2.50 today. And there's a sugar bowl that I want to show you that is really interesting with some history we'll talk about. China painting was popular turn of the century, it was a hobby for ladies. And the sugar bowl has quite a wonderful history. MZ Austria with that two headed eagle back stamp is a company owned by Hochenoita at the time. And this mark was from 1884 to 1909. And they have quite a wonderful glassware collection here. Anything from the Prescott glass by Anchor Hawking. This was from the sixties and seventies to some more of the mid century sandwich trays that well on the left corner is for a punch cup or teacup and these i actually haven't seen before in that floral design that is a wonderful example of mid-century these glass plates would go with any china pattern any household and that is another great gift here today and if you wanted something that's not quite as old vintage and definitely dishwasher safe then this would be a great option for you this triple fitted dish is nice and look what's inside. 
the Iris Herringbone from the Jeanette Glass Company. They do have some furnishings, lighting wear, and some more areas of the store with some gift items. These candle holders, I think, are Waterford Marquis. I've seen this pattern before in the 90s. And again, you've got a great gift. The store is full of wonderful and affordable ideas for the holidays. Oak Alley in Louisiana. It's been featured in some movies. And Avon collectible perfume bottles. I do see more and more. I think that's the era where you're finding these at estate sales and they are collectible. Including this Franciscan, I wanted to say Ivy, but it's actually the October pattern with a great fall look, autumn leaves, and it's well-priced. And look at that back stamp. It is from Franciscan before Interpace. $1 each, perfect for your fall brunches. And here's some more pieces. I'm loving that half price today, that's great. $1.50 for a bowl. Love it. Now let's take a look at some of the other items. I do quickly look through when I'm here because it's not everything that I'm looking for, but in housewares you sometimes find new items such as the Scentsy Warmer. And that's actually a wall plug-in. They have all different kinds within the Scentsy line and it's new in a box. You could just clean it up a little bit, add some more wax melts. And this is a beautiful piece. I think it could be displayed throughout the year, but it is 12 days of Christmas and it's $23. And it's Juliska. And actually you would think it's Juliska, but the company has definitely said that it's Juliska and it's made in Portugal. It's a great piece you could display or get served cookies on it. I like that touch of blue too. And their holiday section, believe it or not, is here year round. You can come in July and they've got lots of Christmas. And I'm thinking these gold trees would be a great addition. I think I may just get those. And all kinds of items, you just never know. It's always a good idea to look through and you can find some everyday holiday dishes. Since you don't use them throughout the year, then maybe it's worth it. Holiday Ribbon by Mervyn's. Yeah, I remember that store, they're no longer open. I like these bowls, you could pair that with some white plates. And the Blue Willow, those are butter pats, a dollar each and no back stamp. And you could take that to China Baroque and have a belt buckle made of it. Really like that, or for a tea bag, that would be good too. And I found some great items in this area before, that's why I'm looking carefully. Waterford Crystal, you'd just be surprised. I found a Waterford Strawberry here too last year. And those stained glass angels would be sweet for the holidays. And gift wrap, ribbon, they have it all. Even some tins, angels to top your tree. I'm liking that new in a box. These look like from the 70s, kind of a folk art, hand painted style. I remember when you would see that in lots of households. And I see something very familiar. Let's take a look. It is Waterford Crystal. Found some great items today at Team Resale. This Juliska 12 Days of Christmas Platter, $11.50. As you can see, it's oversized. I could use it for serving or on display. And of course, I found Waterford Crystal. This honey pot or jam jar is $2.50. It's missing a lid, but not a problem. I could fill it with flowers or use it for serving. You don't always have to have a lid. And the Linux is full price today at $10 for this holiday pattern dish. And it matches my Christmas china. Really happy to have it. And the find of the day, Villarenbach French Garden mugs for a dollar each. The next stop on our Tomball thrifting tour is Reclaimed Resale, where proceeds benefit the Tomball Pregnancy Center. Let's come on inside and take a look at what they've got for us today. Lots and lots of treasures to be found here. I see an antique clock, some furnishings, and even lamps. It's always worth a visit. They have some unique items and some that are quite old. This coffee set, which could be great for mocha or hot chocolate, is hand painted and each piece is signed and it has a crown back stamp. And the three piece set is $49. 
I think that's quite a fair price. You pay a lot more at an antique store. And they have some newer items as well. Here's another older piece. This looks to be made in Germany or Austria, $24. The back stamp is hard to read, it's quite faint. And I'm sure that it is from one of those countries. And these Royal Copenhagen plates, $9 for a set of three. I probably should have picked these up. You could definitely make some jewelry out of the rim. Do you see that detailed design? I'm sure China Baroque would have fun with that. This is a newer piece at $38. It's probably Shannon Crystal made by a company like Goettinger. I'm sure there are so many newer pieces that you could probably get at a store about the same price. You could certainly fill it with some ball ornaments to add a pop of color. This is more of the vintage equivalent of that, of course, smaller size. Look at that etching. That's a great piece. I would probably take this older one over the newer one, but it depends on how you want to use it. And here's a tea set that also looks a bit newer. And the quiche plate coordinates with it. I don't think it's a match. And I would say that was probably for a child. It's made in China with the small cups, definitely for a nursery. Lots of great items to find here at Reclaimed Resale. This is an EAPG, Early American Pattern Glass Pitcher. It is very well priced at $14. Isn't that a great piece? And also they have some depression glass oval dishes. I can see these filled with strawberries. It's the ballerina pattern. They're $11 each, and these would sell for about $40 on the secondary market. A wall of treasures. I like to just take a quick peek and see what catches my eye and always look up high. The EAPG pitcher, definitely, I think that's a great item. $14 is a steal. I don't need it because I have so many pictures, but you know, if you're wanting to start a collection or find a, a gift for someone, great item. And this clock is a bit unusual, kind of reminds me of something my grandmother would have had in her kitchen. Let's take a closer look at this and learn a bit about this 1890 clock for $98. Such an interesting clock. This would have been in a kitchen, and it's often referred to as a gingerbread clock. Look at the attention to detail at the top, and here's the back side. It even has a sticker, Driscoll Clock Service, Angleton, Texas. And it's circa 1890, very well priced at $98. You know I'm eyeing the cobalt ball pitcher. Unfortunately, it is cracked. I don't know if that happened after they placed it out here on the floor, but I'd definitely pass. Another Ray Dunn masterpiece. You find these at every thrift store. I know we just saw them at Team. This is Melamine Plastic. I think this is a bargain at $3.95. It retails for $3,000. They must have done a comparison. And you could definitely put some wallpaper on the back of that. It's not an antique. I definitely would consider changing it up a bit to make it a bit more modern, add some color inside the cabinet. And in Texas, crosses are very popular, especially anything rustic. And this one is so nice that we're going to show it twice. And I'm thinking that probably would have come from a very expensive store. Great gift for someone in Texas that collects these. And lots of kid items too. We're not going to focus on that today. I just wanted to give you an overview of the store. And you never know what you'll find. Look at this beautiful bird art made of recycled paper. Really interesting. Wish I had found this when we were shopping for my daughter's college dorm. I always say look down when you're thrifting. This is an exceptional piece of art made of recycled paper and upcycled fabric. It's priced at $38. You probably see this for three or 400 at a retail store. And they have a nice selection of everyday handbags, especially if you're traveling and you need something a little roomier, maybe you don't want to bring your best bag on a trip. This fossil is nice. And if you're considering alternate gift packaging, this tote bag is handmade, would really be a great option for $8. If you have a crystal pitcher or something a bit awkward, then that would work really well. And even scarves are really good for wrapping gifts. That's something that I've done before and adds some interest to your gift packaging too. And certainly sustainable. Chico's, they have some good box brand labels here. 
So instead of going to the mall, you could come to Reclaim Resale and save some money. They do get lots of great donations from the community. And I'm always looking through their jewelry, hoping that I'll find James Avery. I think they've had this brand before, but you know, just not today. They mostly fashion jewelry. And it's always worth a look. And the price is right. A necklace is $4.50. I will keep coming back looking for James Avery. These mid-century lamps look to be in fairly good condition and the shades surprisingly also. And Louis Armstrong, that would be fun. I love that art, definitely adds a pop of color. Look at the detail with these birds. I'm thinking this was probably in a formal living room. Really in great condition. Oh, it looks like that one actually. You could touch that up with a dragon. This would have been everyday casual dinnerware, probably around the 50s. Some cheese plates. This kind of a, a variety of items they have here today and it's always worth looking through. It's an interesting saucier, gravy boat. I'm looking at the Rhine wines in the back. Those look very German with a green base, $8 for the set, six glasses, that's a very good price. And those are for white wine. Really like those. They probably serve dessert in that too. The Linux is a classic creamware with that 24 karat gold rim. Just love it. I can't get enough of the Linux. And this one I have not seen before. $7. I think that's a good price. An affordable gift, of course. And this Dove, I had this when I was younger. $7. That's a steal. Just had to take a look at this one. No back stamp. And this transferware is interesting. Look at that chinoiserie. Colorful, something I haven't seen before. Genuine Oriental Gardens from original copper engravings. Brown and Richie. Love it. The sugar bowl is striking. That blue just is incredible. Royal Dalton. Look at that back stamp with the lion and the crown. $14 for the double candle holder. Let's see, no back stamp. It's a soft paste. And these candle holders, definitely mid-century. $11, that's a very good deal. I'm not sure if this is Fostoria. It certainly could be. I found some treasures here at Reclaimed Resale from the Linux company. This is an American made China. And look at that attention to detail with the design. It might be a stargazer lily, the gold rim, and of course the beautiful back stamp that is gold plated. And this bed vase reminds me of my grandmother. She had this that she would fill with tea roses. And at $8, that's quite a deal. And you know, when you're shopping for a birthday card, you probably spend seven or $8. And here you've got a great gift. We're making an unexpected stop to TLC Resale. I found out about it just a bit ago when I was shopping at Team Resale. Another customer had heard about it. And TLC is Texas Litter Control, which is right next door. We adopted two of our cats, Poppy and Blitzkrieg, through Texas Litter Control at an area pet store. And I would love to support them and their new resale shop. Let's go inside. It's a warm welcome here. I'm loving that they have lots of wreaths something for every season obviously july 4th spring look and fall and christmas really is one-stop shopping for a wreath and of course you can embellish it you could add to it so glad to have heard about tlc resale that was quite my good fortune today and i see lots of neat things for home decor table and great gifts including some vintage items let's take a closer look this is quite the full wreath for fall and those berries could carry it into winter of a transitional wreath. This is a brand new one, priced $49.99 originally. Ashland Wreath. I'm not sure which company that's from. If you know, let me know in the comments. And Blue Bonnets, of course, are State Flower, $3.49. That's really nice. And the turkey for Thanksgiving. You could even put that on the front door. Or you could embellish it, $7. I'm sure that costs a lot more at an art show love the roses if you're having a fun event a ladies luncheon you don't have to keep your wreath on year round you can just put it out front for your guests as they arrive 
loving the berries. There's another look at the rose wreath. Really, really like all the selection here. They have a great selection of wreaths. Some of these could be embellished and others I think are perfect as a standalone. You could place a crystal bowl inside that could be a table centerpiece, sort of a garland, or maybe even a large pillar candle with a glass votive, a hurricane. Wouldn't that be great? And you know, you're paying thrift prices. I rarely go to a box store even for wreaths. There's a customer that has just come in asking about these chairs. So maybe these will be sold today. And they do a very good job of presenting the donations that they have. I like the stained glass. $4.98, $5, that's a great piece. Put a candle inside. Even if you just wanna add a pop of color to a centerpiece, you could build around it certainly. And pillows, I like that casual brown look three dollars wherever you are it is your friends who make your world so true i'm taking this home the new bridge tablecloth this is a brand that i buy on amazon just for my everyday breakfast table and this size will fit my table in germany for ten dollars that is a good deal it would be about 40 or 50 dollars on amazon lovely hurricanes with the brass accents really like these and of course you could embellish those too you could fit a garland through the base do something fun for christmas the cloisonne green vase nice oh that would be a lovely centerpiece too it's 35 dollars that's quite the find today and the wooden fruit kind of reminds me of the 70s a bit even okra. Another sandwich server loved the fleur de lis pattern. This is quite a find. So very nice. $18. Another great find. I am so excited to discover this Fastoria pink elegant glass sandwich server. The fleur de lis design is actually an easy carrying handle here. And you can use it for so many different purposes. I did feature this early on in the channel, ways to repurpose items. And at $18, this is definitely going home with me today. You probably noticed some of these items have an antique gallery sticker, and they actually had a booth at the antique gallery. Did not realize that at the time. I probably have purchased from them, and they have lowered the prices on these items, and now they've opened their own thrift store. They no longer have to pay for a booth. And you may want to take a look at previous segments it's a fabulous antique shop. And for Thanksgiving, the Pilgrims, that would be interesting to feature on a table or a buffet. Lots of detail there, even the turkey. You never know what you'll find here. I'm glad to have discovered this shop for the first time. They've just opened up. This style of oil painting, my mother actually did things like this and that was made with cotton balls. I don't know why I remember that. $11.95, it's a definitely a different painting technique. This framed art is interesting. That looks like it's from a Disney movie and they are signed and numbered. I think that would be a steal if you're looking to add some interest to a, a kid's room. Here's some modern art. You definitely are better off thrifting artwork, even if you just use the frame and discard the actual print or watercolor. It's a more affordable way to enhance your home. Sewing is my therapy. They have an entire area with sewing supplies. They must have had a great donation. And they even have dog clothes and supplies for animals. And I did see a bunny while I was here today. And they do have some cats in residence. This looks like it was from a wedding. I could certainly change that up a bit, remove the flowers, put something seasonal. And the cat is cute. That was at their antique gallery shop. $20. Those were popular in the 80s. And they have some jewelry. I did find a James Avery piece at this shop. And they're into sports, of course. In Texas, we have so many teams, including the Houston Texans and universities. You'll see that these are dominoes that they've repurposed into jewelry. This must have been a great donation. And there's some collegiate pieces as well. Texas A&M, University of Texas. 
And that actually was a popular type of jewelry for game day. I'm sure those will sell very well. It's a lovely necklace. Oh, that's great for fall too with the leaves. A nice brooch. Pins are not as popular as they used to be, but I think that they're making a comeback. I think slowly, there are so many uses you could actually just attach it to a tassel. It doesn't have to be worn. I like to collect figurines. These are made in Japan, $5. It's an excellent price. It adds some interest to your display, even if it's a side table or part of a centerpiece. I think those are really fun items and I love the blue and white. Sugar and creamer. That might be Colony, $2.50 each. That's a fantastic price. For $5, you've got a great gift. Definitely need to come here more often. And blue and white coffee cups, no saucers. You could put those on the milk glass plates we saw earlier. Made in China. Looks like just some lone teacups there. Many categories represented in the TLC resale shop. Clothing, sewing, jewelry, home decor, even kitchenware. We did not take a look at that today. Inside the glass cases, there's a lovely Mikasa angel covered box and Madame Alexander dolls. These are highly collectible. Yet another reason to check your local thrift shop before you head to the retail store. You might just find some amazing deals. And they do have some pet supplies. And here's a brand new tea towel from Home Goods, and here you can get it at a thrifted price. TLC Resale was a sweet surprise. I'm so glad that you joined me today for Tomball Thrifting. There's lots to see and some great lunch spots. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with thrifting.